I don't know what happened. Whatever happened, train derailed miles away from my house. And, you know, we all are told it's fine. We were fine not to worry about it. And then got scratchy throats and burning eyes and lungs. And Hello, everybody. It's Kurt with the Ohio Gentleman Arms. I'm driving back home from Dayton. I uh, went to it's like a regional karate training thing. I, uh, recently went back to karate and started taking son John. He's been doing pretty good. I used to do karate a lot and then slowed down and started training jiu-jitsu for a while. Ended up tearing my MCL twice in a year. So, slowed down on jiu-jitsu and just kind of just focusing on karate. And, I don't know, it's fun. I'm tired. I've got three hours and nobody to talk to, so you guys will suffer or suffer the consequences. And like give me a few minutes to talk maybe about East Palestine and what's going on there and everything else. It's it's just been weird. So I've got something I'd like to should just read it. I'll have to put, pull it up on my other phone, so you're going to have to give me a second here. I wasn't prepared. I'm in the car. So, it's a quote from Xi Ping or whatever the hell his name is. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, the, uh, it's not a quote from him. That's 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 inaccurate. It's a quote from the newly appointed defense minister of China. Uh, it's his first speech, and not very long after we had all this funny business, weather balloons, trains derailing, a lot of factories blowing up. I don't know. There was an attack on the power grid that actually, you know, produced a significant amount of power out outage in North Carolina. All the other attempts were unsuccessful. But it's uh, uh it's weird. Either way, let me get this quote and. I'll read it to you. Everything's weird though right now. We are looking at a potential alliance between China, Russia, India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, North Korea, Venezuela. I mean, start you start stacking them all up, it starts getting a little hairy. So, I don't know. I find it very interesting there's been a bunch of factories blown up, and most of them have been in the, in the metal making industry. Stuff you need for like jets and tanks Navy ships, hell, even just valves, you know, or uh, pipe, I mean, even just regular stuff, you know, for machining, you know, good st the good stuff, it's made in America, I don't know, perhaps we're starting to lose some of the good tradesmen out there. That's possible. 
Uh, they're not doing preventative maintenance like they used to. You know, maybe they're understaffed. Maybe it's corporate greed. It could be a lot of things. I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm not... But it sure seemed like there was a lot of stuff that came up all at once. Maybe it does all the time and the news just doesn't report on it. And since everything's wonky, they're like, alright, we gotta report on this. I don't know. I know I'm getting prepared. I'm gonna read a statement from the newly appointed Chinese foreign minister. Establishing guardrails and not seeking conflict simply means that China should not respond in word or in action when attacked. That is not possible, Quinn said. If the U.S. does not hit the brake but continue to speed down the wrong path, no amount of guardrails can prevent derailing and there will surely be confrontation and conflict. So, people don't use idioms in other languages. It's a simply American thing. The fact that he said derail is pretty pointed. It makes me nervous. What are we going to do? We're going to keep moving forward. We just gotta hope China, Russia, North Korea, the Middle East now, because Saudi Arabia and Iran are buddies. India, boy, it's a pretty big group. Let's hope they sort this out.